You know that scene in every war movie where a blurry screen shows a bunch of green dots moving across a dark background? Some dots friendly, some hostile. And suddenly, someone yells, we've got incoming. Well, that screen is a radar display. But have you ever stopped to wonder, how does radar actually work? And why has it been such a game changer in military defense and strategy? Today, we're answering the question, how does military radar work? Stick around. We're going deep into the invisible waves that scan the skies, seas, and even the ground. Right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start simple. Radar stands for Radio Detection and Ranging. It's a technology that uses radio waves to detect objects and figure out their distance, direction, speed, and sometimes even shape. Think of it like echolocation, but instead of sound, we're using electromagnetic waves. A radar system sends out a burst of radio waves. When those waves hit an object, like a jet, a ship, or a missile, they bounce back to the radar receiver. The time it takes for the signal to return tells us how far away the object is. The direction the signal came from, that gives us its position. And if the object is moving, we can even calculate its speed using something called the Doppler effect. Now that we get the general idea, let's break down the hardware. A military radar system usually has three major parts. First, transmitter and receiver. It sends out high-powered radio waves and then listens for their echoes. It works like a two-way radio for invisible waves. Transmitting a pulse, then quickly switching to receive mode to catch reflections from nearby objects. Second, antenna. It sends the radio waves out into space and then receives the echoes when they bounce back. Some systems even use the same antenna for both transmitting and receiving. Third, processor and display system. Finally, the brain of the operation. This takes all the data and visualizes it on a screen, often as moving blips or tracks. Simple in principle, but in practice, military radars are highly complex and can pick up everything from stealth aircraft to incoming artillery. Air defense is probably the first thing that comes to mind when people think of military radar. These systems are designed to track aircraft and missiles, often from hundreds or even thousands of kilometers away. One iconic example is the ANTPY-2 radar, used with the U.S. THAAD missile defense system. It can detect ballistic missiles at long range while they're still in the air and help intercept them before impact. Modern air defense radars often use something called phased array technology. Instead of physically rotating the antenna to scan the sky, they electronically steer the radar beam in different directions. That means faster updates, better accuracy, and real-time tracking of multiple targets. Out at sea, radar takes on a new set of responsibilities. Naval radars help warships detect enemy vessels, navigate safely, and spot low-flying aircraft or incoming missiles over the horizon. Naval radars need to be tough. They operate in all kinds of weather, often on a moving platform that's rocking with the waves. Systems like SPY-1, which is part of the U.S. Aegis combat system, can track more than 100 targets at once while guiding missiles to intercept threats in real time. Plus, Naval radars often work in tandem with sonar systems, which use sound waves to detect underwater threats like submarines. Together, they create a layered defense bubble around a fleet. On land, radars play a crucial role in early warning and surveillance. Some are mounted on vehicles or trailers and can be moved quickly to new positions. Others are fixed installations that continuously monitor airspace and ground activity. For example, ground-based radars are used to detect incoming aircraft, artillery shells, or drones. 
Systems like counter-battery radars can detect the trajectory of incoming enemy fire and calculate the exact position it was launched from, giving soldiers the opportunity to return fire with precision. And then there are battlefield radars. These help soldiers on the ground detect enemy movement, especially in poor visibility conditions like fog, smoke, or darkness. Some of the most powerful military radars fly high above us, mounted on aircraft. These airborne radar systems give a bird's-eye view of the battlefield and extend radar coverage far beyond what's possible from the ground. Take the AWACS, or Airborne Warning and Control System. It's basically a flying command center with a massive radar dome on top. From tens of thousands of feet in the air, it can track enemy aircraft, coordinate friendly forces, and serve as an early warning system. Airborne radars are also used in fighter jets for targeting and surveillance. Some advanced systems, like ASA radars, active electronically scanned array, can simultaneously track multiple targets, map terrain, and jam enemy signals all at once. Now, what about stealth technology? How do stealth aircraft like the F-22 Raptor or the B-2 Spirit hide from radar? Well, they don't exactly become invisible. They just become really hard to see. Stealth design works by reducing the aircraft's radar cross-section. That means shaping the aircraft in a way that deflects radar waves away from the source rather than bouncing them back. Think of it like angling a mirror so the light doesn't shine back into your eyes. In addition, stealth aircraft use radar-absorbing materials and coatings that soak up radio waves instead of reflecting them. But don't get it twisted. Stealth is not invisibility. It just makes detection more difficult, which buys precious time in combat situations. From land to sea to sky, military radar quietly shapes the battlefield. Whether it's mounted on a ship, a jet, or tucked inside a mobile unit on the ground, it plays a critical role in detecting threats, tracking movements, and guiding defense systems with pinpoint accuracy. What makes radar so fascinating is how it turns invisible waves into actionable information. Something as simple as a reflected signal becomes a life-saving decision in the hands of a skilled operator. It's one of those technologies we rarely see but rely on constantly for safety and strategy. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.